get behind the wheel of a Jeep and you'll hopefully notice the other Jeep owners waving at you as you pass by. It's kind of cool actually, but one thing I couldn't help wonder is where and how did this wave start? Now, if you've never heard of the Jeep wave, don't worry, you're not alone. For example, my friend James, that's James, back in 2013, he bought his first Jeep. Like many new young Jeep owners, he had no idea about the wave. He quickly caught on though. So where did this friendly wave between Jeep owners start? Oddly enough, I was only able to find three pretty convincing theories. Theory 1. The wave started in World War II as a way for soldiers to acknowledge each other while driving by on patrol. Theory number 2. The wave began after the war, which also makes sense, since civilian Jeep owners were most likely returning veterans who already appreciated the car. The wave was a way to acknowledge each other's service. Theory number three, the wave started much later in the 70s when off-roading really took off. Kind of a way to salute a kindred spirit out looking for adventure. Now there is an unspoken rule of who weighs first. The rule is the younger Jeep always salutes the older one. Or if you have a stock Jeep, you must wave to a modified Jeep first. Now these are interesting theories, but one thing's for sure, the Jeep wave is a unique tradition. The next time you drive a Jeep, be sure to wave as you pass another by.